Hey, what's up, y'all? So, I'm finna do a quick video, Pill Talk with Sue video, about this clip I saw on Twitter. Like, I know a lot of y'all watch Baddies. I don't watch it. Like, I know Rock and I know Tommy's on there or whatever. I don't watch nothing on the Zeus Network, but this clip was so funny. So, I'm finna play this shit for y'all first. And just check this. Like, watch this hilarious ass shit. Like, it's like 30 seconds. Just watch it real quick. It is a true story. Like, LeBron James waited at an airport for like three hours. I never showed up. I know most girls would have hopped on that flight mm -hmm. and they would have been sweating it. And I was like, yeah, no, bro. I found out you're married. I didn't even know. I don't watch sports, first of all. Mm -hmm. Anyone who knows me knows that I don't watch sports. So I didn't even really know who he was. Mm -hmm. I just, I remember I had the sneakers one time. So I was like, oh, you're that guy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm a, ooh. And then I was like, he's married. I was like, oh no, this is gonna ruin my image. And I was like working with John Mayer at the time doing music. So I, mm -hmm. I just have my own stuff going on. Like Now, bitch. I don't believe not one part of that story she don't tell. Like, if you're going to tell a lie, it needs to be believable at the very least. Before we even get into her story, I'm going to just put this in the air. I don't believe LeBron James has ever cheated on Savannah James not a day in his life. And I will say this. If he did cheat on her, that was before all the NBA shit. Like, the, he cheated on her when, like, they were, like, dating in high school and still teenagers. But since he's been down NBA, I do not believe not one single time has he cheated on her. Now, the best he might have done, maybe hopped in some bitches DM, because I know it was that one situation where some random-ass white woman said that he had DM'd, DM'd her on Instagram or whatnot, but she never hit him back, so hell, she missed the opportunity, so hell, he cleared that for I'm concerned. So, no, I do not believe LeBron James has ever cheated on Savannah. But now, to her damn story. Like, so, let's just add, like, let's just break this shit down, so... I don't, I don't watch Batty, so I have no idea who Christina is. So I'm just going off what she said in her own clip. So, you are off Bad Girls Club. And you really want us to believe you had LeBron James, the LeBron James, waiting on you at an airport at three for three hours. Is this really what you want to do? And, like, the, the funniest shit about this, y'all, like, I just love how the guy who's interviewing him, interviewing her is just, like, looking. He has that look like, like, you know a motherfucker lying, but I'm going to let you tell the story anyway, even though I know your ass lying. Like, look at him, like, look at him. It is a true story. Like, LeBron James, ooh. And then I was like, he's married. I was like. Y'all, the way that boy was looking at her, that shit had me hollering the first time I watched it because he had 100% had that look like, bitch, I know you lying, but I'm going to let you keep on talking so we can get this viral clip out your ass. So, anywho, though, y'all, okay, so break her story down. Okay, so you had LeBron James waiting for three hours at the airport and you never showed up. The next thing you go to is talking about, oh, you're married, bro. But then right after you say that, you say you never, like, you never heard of Brian James. You didn't know who he was. So you didn't know who he was, but somehow you found out he was married. So you couldn't do that because you didn't want to ruin your image. And then on top of that, the next thing she goes to say is that she kind of knew of him because she had a pair of his shoes. Y'all. The LeBron James original first pair of sneakers that came out was back in like 2003, not, like not too long after he first like got in the NBA. So I'm finna show y'all what year the first pair of LeBrons came out. Okay, so see, like I said, so she had a pair of LeBrons on. The first original LeBron James shoe came out in 2003, which is not too long after he had like officially joined the nba or whatever and not only that she says she has never heard of lebron james at the time because she doesn't watch basketball and she might not watch basketball but i've never heard of her either so i went and just google her just to see like because okay she's coming from bass but she had to be coming from somewhere else because i know bass usually have like they have new girls but they usually like re-enlisted like the old girls or whatnot so i just looked her up and so she might didn't watch basketball but lebron james went to his first life finals in like 2007 and then like a couple years later like maybe 2012 he won his actual first nba finals on um, what championship or whatever but point being lebron james is like 10 years in like the nba by the time this christina girl comes along so let me just show y'all that real quick Riding with my twin and um, and we all look good as fuck she said she my eye but i don't know her had to look her up i know that i'm rich
Okay, so now y'all see what my point was going to. Okay, her first time getting on TV is like on the Bad Girls Club in 2012. But LeBron James by that time has been in the damn NBA for about damn near going on 10 years. Like on his like third, fourth, fifth, whatever pair of shoes. So bitch, like the story don't add up at all. You talking about something you don't know LeBron James like girl. Like, and then like the killer part about this, like, and what what really put the goddamn cherry on top of the cake is you sitting here talking about you a girl coming from the bad girls club. Not saying the bad girl bitches don't get niggas. I'm pretty sure they have them all in their DMs, woo the wood, whatever. But you of all people had LeBron James waiting at the airport. LeBron James waiting at the airport for three fucking hours. Now, mind you, this is before he became a billionaire or whatnot, but baby, hey, LeBron James ain't waited by his damn self in no regular-ass airport. Like, girl, let's get out the women. Do you not understand the way men wouldn't let that nigga just sit there in no damn airport and without reproaching him all in his face, talking shit or whatever? Like, there's no fucking way. There is no fucking way, like, that story's not even remotely possible. Like, this is even before he kept, became a billionaire. Like, the, like, LeBron James male groupie fan base is not finna just sit there and let him wait in no airport for three damn hours and not bother him at all. Like, that's just not happening. Like, at no point of LeBron's career could that ever possibly happen. Like, let's be real. <laughs> let's just stop right there. Let's just, just be real. And then she goes on to say, talking about she had her own stuff going on. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> compared to LeBron James, I don't like that right there is also a red flag because, like, bitch, what the fuck is you had possibly had, had going on that's comparing to LeBron James? But she goes on to say she was working with like John Mayer, and I looked there though because I'm guy like, because I'm thinking John Mayer, okay? So, John Mayer has been in the music industry since I was a fucking teenager, and I'm, I'm, I'm a grown ass woman right now, so. I guess at the time, I probably still would have been somewhat a teenager, but still, though. But I'm like, bitch, John Mayer, like, what the fuck was you helping with? Because I don't see nowhere in your biography where it says you a fucking singer or nothing. So, girl, like, what the fuck was you helping him with? So, you just a habitual liar, bitch. Because I looked it up and, like, couldn't find not a single thing that would suggest that her or any other girl in the bag of club were helping him with shit. Like, she might have been, she could have been meeting up with him or something. That, like, I could see that. It's my, that's a possibility. I could see that. But, baby, you weren't helping him with not a damn thing. <laughs> like, this girl don't sit there and tell a lie after lie after lie. Yeah, I just had to break this shit down. Because it was, it was funny to me. So, I hope it was funny to y'all. Because, like, like, I be trying to bring the facts to the damn table. Because all this, like, this shit just be wild out here, y'all. But this was just a quick little pill talk with Sue. I just hope y'all enjoyed it. Like, like, subscribe, share, you know, leave your comments, what the what. So, until next time, y'all.